Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on desflurane. History In search for better inhalational anesthetic agents, Terrell and his associates at Ohio Medical Products synthesized more than 700 compounds between 1959 and 1966. Two of these products were halogenated methyl ethyl ethers, isoflurane and enflurane. Many years later, the original 700 products were re-examined. The 653rd compound was desflurane. It has a very low blood gas solubility and it has been predicted to enable very fast recovery from anesthesia. However, it is very difficult to synthesize due to a potentially explosive step using elemental fluorine. Saturated vapor pressure of desflurane is 0.868 atm at 20 degrees Celsius which is close to one atmosphere. Year of first usage in humans is 1988, and year of introduction to the UK is 1993. Physical chemical characteristics. Desflurane is a highly fluorinated hydrocarbon with a simple formula of C3H2F6O, also known as 1-fluoro-222-trifluoroethyl-difluoromethyl-ether. It is a colorless fluid with an ethereal and pungent odor. It is stored in amber-colored bottles without preservative. It does not react with light or metals. It may react with dry soda lime to produce carbon monoxide. Desflurane is non-flammable and non-corrosive. Its structure differs from that of isoflurane only in the substitution of fluorine for chlorine. Boiling point of desflurane is 23 degrees Celsius. Desflurane has a blood gas partition coefficient of 0.42, oil gas partition coefficient of 19, molecular weight of 168. MAC values in adults is 6.0% in oxygen and 3% in 60% nitrous oxide. In neonates, it is 9-10% to in oxygen and 7% in 60% nitrous oxide. Metabolism is 0.02%. Saturated vapor pressure is 88.5 kPa or 664 mmHg at 20 degrees Celsius. Vaporizer requirements. There remains a risk where operation theater temperatures can exceed 23 degrees Celsius at which desflurane will boil. Delivering boiling desflurane in conventional vaporizers results in unpredictable concentrations being delivered to the patient. As desflurane is boiled, its concentration would rise substantially Desflurane then cools due to loss of latent heat of vaporization and the delivered concentration decreases. The TEC-6 Othmeda and other vaporizers heat desflurane to 39 degrees Celsius. It is technically easier to heat desflurane rather than cool it. This raises its saturated vapor pressure to almost 2 atmospheres or 194 kPa. Precise amounts of gaseous desflurane is then added directly to the fresh gas flow via a separate chamber to deliver accurate concentrations to the patient. Pharmacokinetics Uptake and distribution Desflurane has a blood gas partition coefficient of 0.42. This results in extremely rapid induction of anesthesia. However, this is limited by desflurane's pungent and airway irritant nature. The rate of equilibration of alveolar with inspired concentrations of desflurane is virtually identical to that for nitrous oxide. As nitrous oxide's blood gas partition coefficient is 0.47, due to the low blood gas partition coefficient of desflurane, it is possible to alter the depth of anesthesia very rapidly, and the rate of recovery from desflurane anesthesia is faster than sevoflurane, isoflurane, or halothane. Metabolism Desflurane undergoes minimal metabolism, only 0.02% is metabolized, with the main metabolite being trifluoroacetic acid. This is excreted unchanged. Desflurane undergoes minimal defluorination. After prolonged anesthesia, there is only a very small increase in serum and urine trifluoroacetic acid concentrations. 99.98% of desflurane is eliminated unchanged and rapidly from the lungs. Carbon monoxide production. Desflurane can react with 
hydroxide bases in soda lime or barium lime to produce carbon monoxide. The production of carbon monoxide is quantitatively more with para lime compared to soda lime and when the carbon dioxide absorbent is dry. However, this carbon monoxide production is not a clinically significant problem. Environmental considerations. Unmetabolized desflurane is eliminated from the patient and vented unchanged into the atmosphere via scavenging systems. Desflurane has the largest life cycle greenhouse emissions of any volatile agents, up to 20 times greater than sevoflurane. Pharmacodynamics Effects of desflurane on the central nervous system Desflurane is a hypnotic agent and it is used for induction and maintenance of general anesthesia. It has a similar mechanism of action compared to sevoflurane. Kindly refer to the video on sevoflurane for further details. There is a rapid induction of anesthesia with desflurane, however it is limited by its airway irritant properties. There is rapid recovery, influence of desflurane on intracranial pressure. Desflurane is a vasodilator that increases cerebral blood flow and it may affect ICP. However, ICP is minimally affected at MAC values of less than 1 in patients with normal ICP and normal catnia. ICP may be increased due to the imbalance between the production and absorption of CSF. There is decrease in cerebral metabolic rate and oxygen consumption. Desflurane has poor analgesic effects. Desflurane uncouples the relationship between cerebral blood flow and PaCO2. There is dose-dependent decrease in cerebral perfusion pressure due to the cardiodepressant effects. Desflurane provides a degree of neural protection via a process analogous to ischemic preconditioning. There is dose-dependent depression of EEG similar to sevoflurane. Desflurane does not cause excitatory effects or seizure activity on EEG. Effects on the respiratory system. There is decrease in alveolar ventilation, decrease in tidal volume, increase in respiratory frequency, PaCO2 increases, as respiratory frequency increases and dead space ventilation increases, and there is a decrease in sensitivity of chemoreceptors to PaCO2 concentrations. Desflurane has no effect on bronchial tone. Desflurane is an airway irritant, particularly at higher inspired concentrations. It is rarely used for inhalational induction. Many anesthetists do not use it in patients who are breathing spontaneously. Studies have shown that up to antidal concentrations of 6%, there is no greater incidence of coughing, laryngospasm, or breath holding compared with other agents. Cardiovascular effects the first cardiovascular action of desflurane is decrease in mean arterial pressure secondary to myocardiodepressant and vasodilatory effects of desflurane. There is decrease in systemic vascular resistance and decrease in cardiac output, but cardiac output is relatively well maintained over the normal anesthetic maintenance doses. Changes in heart rate. Heart rate is unchanged at low steady state concentrations of desflurane However, it increases with higher concentrations of desflurane and addition of nitrous oxide maintains the heart rate unchanged. Second cardiovascular system action occurs when desflurane-inspired concentration is increased rapidly to more than 1 MAC. There is increases in sympathetic activity resulting in increase in heart rate, increase in mean arterial blood pressure, and this sympathetic activation can precipitate myocardial infarction in susceptible patients. There is no coronary steel phenomenon. Desflurane, as with isoflurane and sevoflurane, does not sensitize the myocardium to catecholamines. Desflurane is minimally arrhythmogenic. It may have cardioprotective effects similar to that seen in ischemic preconditioning. Desflurane causes muscle relaxation in a dose-related manner. Concentrations of more than 1 MAC produces fade when the ulna nerve undergoes tetatic stimulation. Desflurane potentiates the effects of non-depolarizing muscle relaxants and it is also a trigger agent for malignant hyperpyrexia.
there is dose dependent decrease in hepatic blood flow secondary to decreases in MAP. There is dose dependent decrease in renal cortical blood flow secondary to decrease MAP. Desferin has minimal effects on renal physiology. There is negligible metabolism and there is no production of inorganic fluoride ions. Desferin is non toxic to the kidney. Desferin causes a dose dependent reduction in uterine tone. As a summary, advantages of desferin include low blood gas solubility and this offers a more precise control of maintenance of anesthesia and rapid recovery. It is minimally biodegradable and thus non-toxic to the liver and kidney. Desferin does not cause seizure activity on EEG. It is the agent of choice in daycare surgery due to fast recovery characteristics. Desferin may be actually more economical if used during long procedures Although desferin is more expensive compared to isoflurane, less desferin is required to maintain anesthesia once equilibrium is reached, and equilibrium is also reached more quickly. Disadvantages of desferin It cannot be used for inhalational induction due to its irritant effects on the airway. It causes tachycardia at higher concentrations, and desferin requires a special vaporizer, TEC6, which is complex and there is potential of failure. Desferin is more expensive compared to isoflurane or sevoflurane. These are my references. Thank you.